Hi, and welcome to this SharePoint Search Quick Tip. This is sponsored by Surfray. Please visit us at www.surfray.com and uh, see some of our other webinars or webcasts, quick tips about how to improve SharePoint Search. My name is Robert, and I am one of the authors of Pro SharePoint 2010 Search. Today we'll be talking about how to index PDF files with SharePoint 2010. It's not enabled out of the box to index PDF files, so you'll want to uh, add what we call an eye filter to your server in order to take the text from within the PDF files and make it searchable. You can just add the PDF file type to SharePoint and that will make the SharePoint crawler pick up those files, but it won't be able to convert them, which means that you won't be able to search within the files. You'll only be able to search for things like metadata associated with the files and the title of the files. So what I'll show you here today is how to add that file type and also how to add the I filter. There are several blog posts out there that you can go and look at um, to follow the instructions on how to do this. We have two ourselves, actually one at surfray.com in our tech blog section where you'll find this quick um, tip. So you can just search for PDF in our search engine on surfray.com and you'll find the, the blog post. Also there's one on our site prosharepointsearch.com which is the books companion site which if you want to look at that too you can. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing that you want to do is you will want to go to your server and you need to go to the crawl server to install this so the the server with the crawler component because that's the one that's going to be doing the conversion of the file types so <clears throat> we will uh, go to first central admin to your search service application and the order that you do this is not that important but you need to make sure you do each steps so once we're in the search service application, you'll find on the left here there's a file types uh, uh, section under crawling. And we want to find the PDF uh, declaration there. And we see there's no definition for what to do with this file type. So we're just going to add it. And SharePoint's very clever when it comes to this because it'll be able to find exactly what you're looking, we're talking about when we just add the PDF file extension. So it already has a definition for that. And... We can see now we've got a PDF file extension. It maps to the Adobe Acrobat document, MIME type, and it's got a little icon as well. So we really don't have to worry about much more than that. Now, if we recrawl here, if we do a full crawl, we'll pick up those PDF files, like I said earlier, but we won't look into the text of them. So what we have to do is we have to have an eye filter installed to do that conversion. So uh, let's see, we want to get our, our eye filter. So Adobe has one for free. And uh, you can get it if you go to, you can actually see on our blog posts. Here's one of the blog posts on SharePointSearch.com and uh, ProSharePointSearch.com. You can see that there are two links. One is a link to the page where we can actually get um, the link to download the eye filters. And you might want to go here just to make sure you're getting the most up-to-date one. <clears throat> Often browsers will have problems um, on servers to m handle these links on the Adobe site. So you may want to download it elsewhere and then transfer it over. I also give a direct download link to the Adobe site um, in the blog post if you want to, um, to download it directly here. So let's go to the server and install that. So I'll just download it and I'll open it. <clears throat> and you can see here. I've got the MSI for this eye filter here, and I'll just run that. Click next, I'll agree to that. And next, install it in the default location. And it's an installed. Unfortunately, our installation is not complete yet because we have to register it in the registry. So in order to do that, we will run regedit and we'll bring up our registry here. Now, the place we want to set this is in HK Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Office Server 14, which is the version of 2010, Search, Setup, Content Index Common, Filters, and Extension. And we want to add a new key in here. So we'll just say we'll put a new key and we'll call it .pdf, just the way the other extensions are set. So we've got our new key here, and we're going to want to put a value in the default 
uh, key value here. So we'll just take this and we'll find the value. This is on our blog post. I've got it here in a text file. And it's just a special ID that we'll place here. And this is just telling the uh, search engine which version of the uh, Adobe to use for this this uh, extension. Okay, so there we've got it. It's it's registered, and uh, everything should be okay. Now, the last step that we need to do, or there's two more steps really, is um, one is to reset the or to restart the search service. So really, the I think the easiest way to do that is to run the services snap in. To do this, I like to just uh, type in services.msc in the run command, and then I'll get the services snap in up. Here you can see it. And then find the search service, which is called SharePoint Server Search 14. Here it is. And then just click restart. Now this should restart the search service, pick up that new uh, declaration, pick up the new PDF file type, and be all ready to start indexing. So really the last thing we need to do now is just to launch a full crawl on the content source with the PDF files. So we'll just go to whatever content source that is and click start full crawl. You need to do a full crawl. It's very important. You can't just do an incremental and expect them to pick up. Anytime you do these kinds of changes at the crawler level, you need to do a full crawl for it to be picked up. So in a nutshell, that is how to uh, get SharePoint 2010 to index PDF files. Thanks for joining this SharePoint quick tip and uh, look forward to seeing you at one of our webcasts.